Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your main. Um, so the first message that I'm feeling here is uh, it has a lot to do with our moral compass. So I feel like the reading is like split in two ways. So let, let me just talk about this. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're in an environment and you might admire other people's accomplishments, other people's achievements, other people's things, okay? So I feel like you're comparing um, yourself with somebody that has made it, that ha is very, very accomplished. And I feel like you want them, you, you want to be where they are. And you also want to like, um, not have to, you know, take the long route to get to that position of power, that place of prominence, that place of financial security. And so you feel like, you know, I can cut corners. You feel that, you know, opportunities are there from people around you soliciting you. Hey, let's do this. Let's cut corners. Let's take the, the easy way out. Let's take the, the quick route. And the quick route, I feel that it's going to give you that sense of emotional stability for a very, very short period of time. And ultimately, it's a victory. That externally, it's a victory. Because once you take that safe route, you will get where you need to be, right? But deep down, I feel that some of you might not be completely happy with the things that you had to do in order to take that quick route in order to get yourself to your goals. I don't feel that you're, you're going to be too happy with yourself by the end of the day. And so the idea here of, is about um, choosing, you know, like um, guiding our actions by our, our moral compass so that we don't end up in a situation where we start to sell out. We don't end up in a situation where we feel like I should have done that better. I should have done that to the best of my capabilities. And I should have, you know, taken the long route, even though it's, um, it's long and arduous. It might be very, very tedious, but at least it was the honorable thing to do. And so one of the things I'm feeling here is that some of you are in a position, and this is, you know, um, I do these for the May, the May time frame, but this is going to permeate through the rest of this year. So I want you to be careful. I feel that some of you are like this. Financially, you feel like you need to earn more. And I feel that financially you're here, right? This is starting out the page of pentacles, learning a new skill, learning a new craft, learning traditional, um, I, I feel like additional, excuse me, additional skill sets in order to do something to enhance your income generating potential. And where you want to be is like this, where you are respected, where other people look to you as a voice of authority, where you've made it. So you see the difference between where you are and where you want to be. You want to be on top of your money. You want to have control and you want to have a lot of, you know, opulence and abundance in your midst. You don't want to, you, so this is kind of like, you know, the peasant eating wheat. This is kind of like the queen. She's in a very uh, abundant place, okay? So regardless of whether or not you're male or female, I feel like this is where you are. This is where you want to, to be. And in order to get where you want to be, some of you might have shortcuts. Some of you might be tempted to take detours, to take, a, you know, like a, to cut corners. And to once you're able to cut corners, I feel like you, for some reason, I'm seeing like cosmetic, cosmetic things. So I feel like you, you might, for example, you want to look a certain way, but rather than relying on, you know, diet and exercise, you might want to just do like um, plastic surgery, for example. Okay, that's just an example. And then rather than, you know, like you, you have to pass a course in order to get like license, for example, but you don't have the time. So you could, you know, hire somebody to do it for you. And that way you pass the course. But in the long run, those things are going to, those decisions, those choices will really catch up with us. Because at the end of the day, you really, really um, care about a job well done. 
you really care about you know the fruits of your labor. You care about the process. It's not just about the end goal. You really care that you are devoting your time to doing something worthwhile. And I feel for some of you, going back to that, you know, the diet and exercise thing, I feel that a lot of you are really self-conscious about your figure. Like you, you, you know, try to keep yourself uh, slim and trim and you want to be healthy as well. So cheating, you know, like um, I feel taking shortcuts and taking like a fast way out it's not going to bring you that sense of contentment in your personal power, knowing that you did something that was difficult. I feel that you you like the difficult process because, because it builds character overall. So taking a short way out, yes, for the moment, it's going to bring you, you know, that satisfaction. But in the long run, when you look back at, back at a series of decisions where you might have taken the shortcut, I feel that you feel that you might have ch- shortchanged yourself, okay? Um, I feel like some of you have already felt this way and I feel that some of you have already felt this in relationships where you had something that was very good, it was very stable and you really worked at it and um, once you worked at something, if it absolutely could not work out, you don't blame yourself. However, if you got anxious when things got tough, if you didn't work to your capabilities to mend the relationship and then things fell apart, I feel that rather than dealing with the fact that, you know, I should have done everything within my power to make it work, I feel then you're drowning out that guilt, you're drowning out the noise by surrounding yourself with very superficial things in order to not have to deal with, you know, the fact that you could have done more okay so I I feel like there's something here about some of us being able to face the consequences of our actions taking stock and really thinking about like okay so I, I did that and what could I have done differently like learning from experience from true grit experience and then for others Drowning out, you know, that that learning process by telling ourselves, oh, I'm happy right now, you know, I'm happy. Um, When in fact, you know that you could have done more, okay? So I'm just going to leave it at that, Scorpios. I feel like, I feel that this is important to coming into the month of May to realize, okay, where we've been, where we're headed and where we're trying to go. If where you're headed and where you're trying to go are not lining up, it basically means that you need to take stock, take inventory, reorient yourself, redirect this energy so that you're moving in a place, you're moving towards a direction or you're moving towards a place that is much better for you, okay? So, you know, last year I did the yearly reading for you guys And um, I mentioned all that glitters is not gold. I feel that some of you have taken shortcuts, have done something that you're not supposed to in order to get ahead. And you might realize then that, you know, getting ahead, yes, it's it's exciting and it's, um, it's fun, but it's a very lonely victory, okay? So I I feel that. And I, I especially see like some athletes, some athletes doing some enhancement, you know, performance enhancement rituals that might not be in their favor. And I feel like these might not be like, um, you might be semi-professional where you're not screened daily. So be careful. Okay. And then for others of you, you worked and worked and worked and worked at things and you stayed in, in situations way too long. Because, um, you know, like you, you saw value in something that might not have been there. But in the process of staying, now you're smarter and you're wiser. And you're just like, wow, I can't believe I stayed through all of that. And, you know, whatever you did, whatever the struggle was, it built character. So it wasn't done for no reason. It wasn't like a sadistic thing that you you decided to stay in because, you know, you you like the pain or whatever. I feel that it, it was character building for you. And so it happened for a reason, okay? And even though you stayed past the expiration date... It was still okay because now you can finally lay it to rest 
and you can tell yourself that I did everything, absolutely everything in my power. And uh, it still didn't work. So I'm not going to beat myself up over it. And so for those of you dealing with this, you're on the, the right path now to move forward with all these lessons learned. Okay. So I wish you the best Scorpios. Um, I'll try to come back for the mid month reading. Okay. Just depending on how, um, in general, what the reviews are when it comes to these spiritual readings. But I, I feel like they're helpful because this has been a very disruptive year and a lot has been happening, you know, since January. So I feel that it's important for us to slow down this month of May and just take stock at what we have and to, you know, solidify some plans for the future. We are in the time of Taurus and it's really good to, you know, implement new plans and, and to really chart out those new ideas. Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourself. Have a good night.